Hi guys, welcome to my channel How to Live. This is Abi. In this video, we will learn how to install Drupal on your local Windows machine by using WAMP server as a local host. If you want to know how to install WAMP server on your Windows 10 computer, then please check out the guide in the description below. It is a video guide that will help you install WAMP server on your Windows machine with correct PHP size and time limit settings. Let's begin. So first, we will go to google.com and type download Drupal. We will click on the first link to drupal.org and press this blue button to download Drupal to our computer. Now I've already downloaded this, so I will not download it again. I'll press cancel here. Once your installation is downloaded, once your folder is downloaded, it will be in your downloads folder as a zip file. You can right click here and press extract here. This will extract the Drupal folder like this. Copy the Drupal folder and go to your WAMP folder, which is usually within C drive, WAMP64. Within the WAMP folder, go to www folder and copy and paste your Drupal folder here. Once the folder is pasted, rename it to something simple. Let's rename it to Drupal test now. Once you've done this step, start WAMP server on your computer and then you need to go to localhost. Press on phpMyAdmin here to create a database. You might need to log into the phpMyAdmin. If it does ask you for a username password, enter root as the username and blank as the password. And here I'll create a new database. I'll name the database as a DP test. I'll choose the encoding as UTF-8 general CI. Here it is, UTF-8 general CI and press create. Now once I've created my database, uh, I'll go to localhost and then Drupal test. And here we get this blue installation screen. Choose your preferred language and press continue. Next, I'll just go with the default that is standard installation. The installation will take some time. So I will freeze this video and come back once the installation is finished. Okay, so the installation has finished and we are back again. Uh, now we will need to fill in some basic information here. Site name, um, I can name it Drupal test and site email address, anything should be fine. Username and password enter any username and password you like email address again and default country uh, let's choose united states and time zone let's keep it as it is here now and then press save and continue and voila your drupal site is installed we are directly taken to the front end of the drupal install and to manage the site you can click here and uh, go into the menus that you want to. You can go and configure the appearance or go and check the extensions. And that's it guys. You have a working installation for your Drupal site now installed on your own local Windows 10 machine. If you want to know how to install WAMP server on your Windows machine, check out the description of this video. I've pasted a link to the video where I install WAMP server and show full details for editing some important settings. I will also be making a video to cover the essential Drupal extensions and themes. Once the video is ready, I will post the link to the description and to the pinned comments below. So make sure to check it out later. Hope you liked this video. Please press the like button if you did. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get notified about my future videos as well. When you like this video, a lot of users like you will be able to know about this video and get value from this video. 